What is up guys, welcome to the Big Unbox, where we do that small tech, and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the OnePlus 7 Pro, and today we're back with a Rhino Shield Crash Guard case to unbox, do a quick review, as always I'll throw up the link in the video description. Now this is going to be that bumper case, it's going to protect the sides, it's not going to protect the back of it, so this one's probably going to be more for the people looking for a skin, to throw a skin on the back of it, but we'll check it out together guys and see if it's a hit or miss. Pricing is going to be about 29 bucks or so, depending on where you get it from. This was just released. Let's check out the actual presentation. Got a little Rhino Shield branding up top. Got the actual logo, Crash Guard Series for the OnePlus 7 Pro. And it tells you this about the drop protection, which is 11 feet. Keep in mind, that's going to be the drop protection for your sides and bumper. Obviously, not the back, since it's actually, you know, pretty, pretty much not there, non-existent back. So, Crash Guard tells you a little more details about the actual case itself. So, presentation is what it is from Rhino Shield. Pretty decent. You got a little tab like that. Nothing to it. Pop it open like that. In the past, this has been a big, not I say a hit, but a lot of people like this particular thing because of the styles you can actually go with it. You can throw a skin on the back of it and just customize the look. We give you some decent protection. So this is the actual, the basically bumper case that you're going to get. Obviously, nothing in the middle. Going to give you that border protection all the way around. Now you can see what they do on the inside. This is where you're going to get your drop protection right there. You can see those little ridges. That's going to give you that kind of cushion right there that's going to give you that drop protection all the way around and it is a little you know flimsy enough but it feels flexible but it actually got some nice give to it where it feels sturdy enough that it shouldn't break or anything like that so it's got a nice little give to it but it feels pretty sturdy got a little rhino shield branding right there very subtle very clean nothing really to it got your power button alert slider we'll check that out and then obviously the cutouts that's pretty much it let's go ahead and pop it in to place let's see make sure i get it in the right spot here you guys liking the oneplus 7 so far definitely a uh probably one of the better phones of the year right what do you guys think phone of the year right up there a couple other ones you know s10 plus pop right into place like that look at that beautiful so if you guys are just rocking like this you can check out the protection that you're going to get. So this is going to give you that raised reinforcement on the back. So it's raised up enough. So you, got, you can see it's raised on the top and bottom. Really not much on the sides. I guess it is a little bit. So, But you're, the majority of the protection is going to be on the top and bottom. So it is going to be enough to give you some protection for the camera where you can see it's when you're getting the camera protection is that raised hump right there that's where you're getting your actual protection from and obviously it's going to give you some nice overall grip i like the feel of it very kind of it's kind of a grippy feel too which feels sturdy enough that you're going to get some nice protection if it does drop obviously this is completely exposed so keep that in mind Obviously, this is going to be for some of those that's looking for a minimalist presentation, but obviously give you some basic protection as well. So let's check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip and decent lip protection. You can see it's raised up on the bottom. And again, you got raised on the top right there. You're not getting much on the sides just because of the curved screen itself. But you can see that kind of protection that you're going to get around the screen right here. I am rocking a tempered glass screen protector. I think I'm still rocking the Spigen one. So it's completely compatible with it. So no issues at all with that. So you can see the amount of protection that you're going to get. should get edge to edge protection with that. Volume up and down. Clicky and responsive. You can see them right there. Made of plastic. Check out the cutouts. Look clean. The speaker grill. Very nice little, you can see they do a very good job with the fine details on this particular case. They spend, a, it takes a while to release. They don't ever release these on time, it seems like for the OnePlus product. They take a little bit of time, which I'm fine with, because they do a little bit of fine details. Power button, clicky and responsive, and then the alert slider, which is kind of their trademark. What they do is give you a little cover right there, and it's very nicely done. Clicky, easy access no struggles or stress turn it on with the screen on see what type of protection you guys are going to get that's probably a better view again you can see that tempered glass plenty of room to breathe for the tempered glass screen protector no issues at all there let me turn on the front facing camera i know everybody wants to see how that's going to look struggle here there we go let's turn this on selfie camera pop it up like that and so you guys can see what how much Easy, so you can see it's raised up enough 
that you're going to get probably and it is raised enough there's no it's not going to cover up anything i've never heard that before where some of the cases it hasn't raised above another case enough where you've kind of had that impacting it but this one appears to be good to go with no issues then you can see just the area around the actual camera that's going to give you some protection as well so very nicely done overall the question is, is it going to be a hit or miss i think it's going to be a hit and it really, it's going to be depending on what you're looking for. This is not going to be for everybody that wants some. To me, I wouldn't rock a case like this just because I'd be worried about scratching the back up. Now, if your end game is having some skins on it, and we'll check it out with some skins coming up. I do got the D -grand, or D brand grip finally shipped. So we'll get that review out of the way soon as well. So we'll start getting into the skin game as well. If you guys have any suggestions, throw it up in the comment section. We'll get to as many as we can. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.